friends, do you want to create your own currency converter Android app and host it on Play Store or something like that? Like when you choose the from currency to to currency and then when you click convert, it will give you the output. So say for example here, when we convert 1 USD to INR, it converts, it results to 84.46. Or say for example in Euro, it will be around 0 0.95. Even we can choose some other currency and let's say Afghani and let's see how much it is, it's 68.05. So do you want to build this kind of app? So let's see how we can do it. So before we get into the code, uh, I'll show you that we will be using something called Exchange uh, Rate API. So they give a free version also to certain limits and after that you have to pay if you are uh, going to use it for commercial purpose. So you just create your account and then they will give you a free quota per day and uh, that you can just check in your dashboard. And all the API deleted stuff are in their documentation you can refer here. However, let's get into the code to quickly complete this. So here, uh, let me just quickly show you how we can do it. So first, let's uh, start with the layout. So layout is very simple. You have to just need, uh, if I minimize this part and go to the uh, yeah hybrid mode. So here, we will need few text box, which are like to just say from and to uh, blah, blah. I hard coded, you should not hard code in your uh, pro production environment app. So this is just for uh, demo purpose. And then I have used a spinner to for this drop down menus for both uh, from and to. They, they refer to the same list of the uh, currencies. But yeah, we have to build two uh, spinners for the layout. And then edit text to uh, take the input of the number of currencies. By default, we have put one. And then button to trigger the convert. Okay. And then text view to print the output. So that's all. So this will print the output over here at the end. And in the uh, manifest file, you don't have to do much. You have to just include a permission for internet. And then in Java code, uh, the structure will be anyway created. Uh, when you create the uh, load environment, you have to create few environment variables. So one is like uh, initially we can create the list of currencies which we want to use or display in our case. So I've given a long list. You don't have to include all uh, whatever you want. You can have it. All this code I will post on my uh, website. So you can take it from there. You don't have to struggle. And then uh, all the for all the widgets, I have created the variables over here, which I'll assign in my own create method over here, one by one, to the right widget in the layout. And for my APIs, I have included uh, my uh, API URL, including the API key. Don't use my key, anyway. I'll change it after this uh, video. And the currency. So default, I have kept USD to USD. Uh, so when you launch the app, so let me do one thing. Let me quickly stop and relaunch it, and you'll see how it comes up. So it will comes up with both being USD because that's a default app set over here in the uh, yeah. So if you if you click no convert, it's of course it's one because we are converting from USD to USD, so it's one for this. Okay, and if I go proceed further here, so after uh, initializing all the widgets variable in my uh, Java method, then I'll assign the adapter where I'm uploading or updating the spinner for both from and to currencies. So if I can bring this here, so there are two spinners side. Right? One is spinner is this, and the other spinner is this one. Okay, so and then uh, I'm using the on-click listener over here for this particular button, convert button, and which what it will do is it will just take all the inputs over here, and then and it will re okay it will update the variables, the local variables from currency and to currency which are selected. And then it will also update my API with the currencies what we are selecting here to update the URL. Okay, it's a, a post call so that it will get updated. And then uh, when for both the experience we have updated, then in the on click list of this convert button, uh, it will call uh, the method. Uh, this one uh, fetch conversion rate after. Okay, first it will uh, take the input or whatever the input. So by default, we have given one, but what if the user uh, changes? So it will take that input and then call this particular method. So this method is over here only different. If not, you can always right click over here and go to the particular declaration user. You can also press Control B as a shortcut in your Windows environment. Okay. And once it goes here, then in this particular method, it is creating a new uh, handler uh, so that it can uh, run this part in a separate thread. Uh, anyways, in internet call, so it's always required to call this in a separate thread. And then in this, uh, it will execute uh, something called this particular method. And let's go and see what is method is all about. Again, you can either right click and go this way, or you can also press Control B. It will be same. So it's just below uh, after one method. And over here, we are taking that URL or whatever the API URL that's finally formed, and then we are calling the HTTP connection call. And whatever the strings we are getting, so we are 
So over here we are forming the results uh, in this loop and then from the results uh, we are getting the respective JSON object of the results and then we are finding the conversion rate okay and then we are just multiplying the amount whichever the amount is user has entered by default one and that's being the return value over here from this particular method. So if I go back from this particular method over here and then what it will do is it will just update the uh, UI which is basically this print HTML text to print somewhere right so that's what this particular method is doing is just printing converted amount and then whatever the input uh, output is getting from this particular method which is basically conversion rate which is being passed here and that's getting printed over here uh, and of course up to two decimal points it's just considering that's why it's 1.0 okay so that's all uh, I wanted to show you in this short video that you can build your own uh, uh, con currency conversion rate so the API what you can use is, is this exchange rate provides free APIs for certain limit for your uh, POC or prototype and all uh, and that's good enough for to start with okay so I hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put it in the comment section below and if you like this video then please subscribe yourself thank you and have a nice day bye